Hello, this is Maker J and I'm going to do a little run of my engine for you. Actually, not a little run, but um, so I patched the holes here with JB Weld and just stuck a little piece of aluminum on there. Um, and that seems to work pretty good as long as you don't get too hot. Um, but this one over here is starting to blacken up pretty good. This is the original hole where I hit it with the blowtorch accidentally. Um, this hole here is, um, I was running it for a little while and it was popping in and out. Um, I mean, it was going doink, doink, doink. And it kind of sounded cool, but um, it wore a hole, or it cracked a hole right in the aluminum. So I had to repair it there um, today. Um, but yeah, so it works pretty good. Um, I guess I'll get it heated up. So it's cold right now. So this will be a cold start. Got to get the thing on here. It's kind of hard to get past the JB weld there. There we go. Alright. So we've got that in place. Then we got a letter alcohol burner. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Alright. So now we just gotta wait for it to heat up a bit. So the water cooling jacket is just fed by that funnel right there. And it just goes into that can there. Um, so I am working on the water pump, which is right here. Um, the glue still has to dry right now. Um, so I'm waiting for that to dry. <clears throat> but yeah, it runs really nice. Um, so the I've gotten so my generator's right over here, clamped on the bench, and that just goes up to the um, VCR drum up there or the flywheel. Um, but I've gotten when I slip the rubber band onto the um, motor shaft here, not onto the pulley, I can get 23 volts out of it, and the max amount of current I have gotten out of it is 60 milliamps. The max amount of watts is 0 0.33 watts, and max RPM is 760 RPM. So that's not too bad. Should be heated up enough to run. Yep. There we go. So I'll hook up the generator now. Let me unconnect the load here. Kind of hard to do with one hand. All right, so we've just got a rubber band there. Oh, it popped off. Uh, there we go. All right. So now I'll connect up our load, which is this radio right now. No batteries, no nothing. So just connect it right up here, and this is our voltage right now. So 10 volts, and that's our current over here, so I'll connect it up, and the radio is working, it's drawing about 20 milliamps, and it runs on 9 volts, but and it slowed the engine down a little bit, so that works pretty good. Um, another good test would be this exit sign, it's not real bright, it's 108 LEDs though. So that's pretty good. Let's see it's lighting up a bit there. Not real bright, but it makes the engine work pretty good. Let's see it's drawing 40 milliamps there at 5 volts. Got to check the water temperature. It's getting warm. I could dump some water in there. Yeah, it's pretty warm. I've gotten it so that the water steams coming out of it, so that's pretty hot. You wouldn't want to... Well, it's not that hot, but it's, it kind of hurts to stick your finger in it for a while. But, yeah, it works pretty good. It's very... It runs pretty smooth. The sound you hear is mostly the piston because the um, throw is too long for the um, cylinder, so the, the um, piston actually gets caught a little bit, and that's what the, the clack noise is. See, if I get it at the right angle, it kind of stops doing that. But, yeah, it's just not quite big enough. So, but that's okay. It still works. I could probably get more power out of this engine if I had a, um, if, a, if I had a piston 
a larger piston, um, but it still works pretty good. But as you can see, it's drawing 500 milliamps now at 5.1 volts. Still lighting up 108 LEDs. It's not too bad. And it does run on a candle, too. I could do that right now. But yeah, that's how big the flame was. It does work better if you put a guide to direct the heat. There we go. So that's candle. Slowed down quite a bit. It's not lighting up the LED display quite as much or exit sign. But I think it'll still run the radio. Oh yeah, it'll still. Well, not real loud. But yeah, it's a pretty old radio. But yeah, so my sterling engine works pretty good. Guess that's about it. Thanks for watching.